This isn't an arcade or a retro-inspired living room. It's part of the library at the University of Calgary. Video games, not books, are the focus here, including a place to play modern games and an extensive collection of retro consoles and games that can be checked out here. About 100 consoles and thousands of games make up the collection here, and doctoral candidate Braden Bolio says studying those retro games is important. You know, you look at something like, you know, Super Mario Brothers, um, you know, that, that kind of is like the Beowulf, well, maybe not the Beowulf, but more like the, the Shakespeare, the Chaucer of, of uh, gaming, right? Um, it has a lot of history and, and games like any text are historical objects. Bolio, who studies in the English department, says the games we play say a lot about who we are as a society. He says the games don't necessarily reflect society. These days, society often reflects the games. Games are significant, you know, and, and they're not just things that kids play, um, and they haven't been for a really long time. So I think it's important to take time as academics to um, look at games uh, as cultural objects. Bolliou says issues such as gender, race, and sexuality often arise in games these days. Of course, while Bolliou says it's very important to study the games of yesterday and today, he also admits it's a lot of fun to play them. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.